Your own inner being, your guides and your angels are on the other side of the block. So please turn towards the blocks. You choose it. I choose to hear more from my inner guide and angels. You're in awareness that you are choosing something. You want to experience more of your divinity or whatever language that you choose. Your oneness. I am aware that I want to experience more of my oneness. I want to experience more of my higher self and acceptance. I accept that this is true. This is what I want. And from there, taking self-responsibility. So I take responsibility for my choice. People have challenging experiences at the responsibility part because the responsibility part means that you will experience things that will come up to clear the path for you to experience more of what you want. You want to experience more of the fullness of who you are. There are things that may need to clear for that to happen and they will rise. And so as we, they rise, you may call those blocks. Choose to acknowledge the blocks. Do not dismiss them. Hello, block. Hello, fear. How are you? You belong here. Welcome. Come in. Awesome. I'm moving forward. I want to experience more. Fear is not to, these blocks are not there to stop you. They're there to say, please pay attention for a moment. These blocks may be coming up because they're something that came from a really long time ago when you were a young person and you spoke your truth and someone told you that you were not okay and that what you were saying was not acceptable. So perhaps that as that block rises and that block says, stop fear, stop, this is not safe. I'm afraid. Turn towards it. Come into awareness. I feel afraid. Can you accept that fear? Can you accept that block? Can you accept what you're calling a block? I feel afraid. Yes, I can accept that. And so in the acceptance of it, just like a child melting into their parents' arms, that fear will melt away. Or, and, that fear will deliver what it's here to deliver. Hey, if you say this, your friends are going to leave. People are going to think that you're not okay. People are going to think you're strange. And so now is the time where you partner with the body always and allow yourself to feel those feelings. I'm afraid that people are going to think I'm not okay because I'm channeling. And feel it. And it might bring tears to your eyes. It may come through the body as shaking. It may mean you have a runny nose. You may sneeze. You may cough. You may have a stomach ache. You may experience nothing. But the key here is to trust that your feelings are in fact the key. They are in fact the journey towards more of you. They are the path. That's the design. The human body was designed for this. So allow the blocks to be present and turn towards them. Hang out for a second and see how they're doing. And you will see that they will move through once acknowledged and felt. And yeah, sometimes it's big stuff. Sometimes it's stuff that makes it feel like you might not be able to take another breath. And that's okay. You can do it. If you want it, you can do it. Your own inner being, your guides and your angels are on the other side of the block. So please turn towards the blocks. That's all. <laughs>